Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this Jason's mask. So I'm here again with Destiny, the director of Christmas Slasher. How's it going? Been great, excited, can't wait to film next year. <laughs> That's awesome. Can't wait. <laughs> You've been doing a lot, a lot. I see the Indiegogo is live now. Yep, yep. We are at 57%, so we're pretty much halfway there. We got like 45 days, and I'm still adding more perks, like awesome perks from the cast, and like, you know, you can be on set, die, have a scene, have a speaking part, and die <laughs> from Rudolph or the sled. Or I'm not going to say who else is in it because I don't want to, like, ruin the whole surprise. But, yeah, it's like you, you can have your own scene if you want to or you can have a scene with somebody else and speaking parts. I'm pretty much getting everybody speaking parts because we're still kind of, like, in that, like, it's not a feature film, but we need, like, the 90 pages. So I'm just adding more people in and just doing, like, you know, having the horror fans have a chance to be in a horror movie and have a great experience to be on set and hang out with cast and crew. So I'm just like, let's do this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. We're pretty close. <laughs> that, that's really, really awesome though. Like, again, mm -hmm. you had this, I remember we talked a couple months ago. Yep. And you had this awesome vision and now just seeing it come, you know, snowball, you know, Christmas snowball, but mm -hmm. snowballing down the hill, <laughs> like really growing into something more and more. It's it's like this is good. I'm I'm happy to see that it's growing the way it's growing. Yeah, and yeah. Because we, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a short film, and then when we did it, and we weren't even finished, and I was because of COVID, and I was like, why don't we just do a feature film, see where it goes? I I'm assuming it'll, it'll get more chances in going summer than a short film. So I decided to write the script, and we decided, well, since COVID hit, let's push it for next year and just do the feature film. I'll just keep adding what I need to add. And let's do an Indiegogo and give people chances to be a, a part of something really cool. Like, there's no movie that has to do, that has Rudolph being an evil monster. You got the Gingerbread Man. You got uh, a couple movies with elves being monsters. You got Santa Claus, like always Santa Claus being an evil monster. And Miss Claus, but nothing that has to do with Rudolph. And I'm super stoked because the monsters are also clay animated. So I'm ex excited to have that evil, dead, uh, killer, killer clowns from outer space, 80s style feel to this movie. So I'm like really stoked. And they look really good. I'm hoping for somebody to grab some perks so we can hit like a $2,000 one. And I'll show like a little sneak peek of what a little bit of Rudolph looks like, the little puppet. So I'm like, I'm excited. <laughs> he looks really, like I see it, it looks sick. I'm like, I'm like. Are those real teeth? Like, are those real teeth? She's like, no, they're, they're, they're like, she made them to make it look like that she got real teeth. I was like, how did you get the real teeth? <laughs> and they look really cool. <laughs> what? Really, I'm like, all excited. I'm like drooling everywhere. <laughs> <What? What? laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> I'm like, guys, <laughs> I'm too excited. I draw, I threw up, draw, you know, drew everywhere. Well, not throw up. I ain't gonna throw up. I hope not. I'm not that nervous. <laughs> So excited. Exactly excited. <laughs> Wait, 
I am. So I could I could tell you're really passionate about this project because just like the first episode we did together, which I apologize is not out yet. I have so much crap to edit. But I will oh, get- it's okay. I know you've been you've been popular, bro. You've just been busy and everywhere. I, I'm proud of you. I love when people do what they love to do and they just keep going. I love that. It makes me like want to keep going too. <laughs> I'm with you on that. And I feel like see, with, with the whole horror thing, what's keeping me going again, like we were discussing before we started recording is I'm doing a lot of movie reviews and I'm getting more interviews and I'm the type of person I love to watch others grow. And I'm just speaking, I mean, in general around the world, I love to watch people yep. grow. Me because too. Talking horror. Yep. If I can help in any way, shape or form, I try to help. And if that's just mm-hmm. having somebody come on my platform and discussing their projects and all that stuff and their love of horror, I'm like, Hey, why yep. not? Yep. On there and, spread the word spread the love it yeah the da- i think i i do i love recording i do love editing but the editing is where the real work comes in because i'm like okay yep. i gotta sit down i don't cut anything out like i don't do anything major for my edits but it's still like i still mm-hmm. have to sit down take time to get it to come out and then mm-hmm. say if i record an hour hour and a half podcast however long it is mm-hmm. that's about an hour to two hours it takes to not necessarily edit but to export it onto every platform that I want, you know, export it to YouTube mm-hmm. for the video portion of it. The audio's quick. Yeah. So yeah. then it's like, okay. And then it's like, okay, I have that plus multiple videos I've been recording through this whole COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's need... not to, finished yet. <laughs> which I think I'm going to try to this weekend, like Saturday, just spend a lot of time editing, maybe have like horror movies playing in the background and yeah. just spend some time editing just to get some content, more content out to mm-hmm. where I'm more caught up and then I can just kind of... Like, I want to get a bunch of older episodes out. Just get them out there. Yeah. And then I can go back to my whole Tuesday, Thursday thing of dropping them up, dropping them every Tuesday, Thursday, every week. It's just, mm-hmm. I have so many now that I can probably drop. If I did it just Tuesday, Thursday, I probably wouldn't have stuff coming out till like, December. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get this stuff out now so that... For yeah, because the- Halloween's coming up and the holidays. Exactly. <laughs> like this, you know, like this, or say what I have you out again when we're talking about Christmas slash when it's out. <laughs> I like, okay, look, coming out on this date, we did this yeah. this date. It's gonna be you know kind of closer together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's rough. <laughs> it's 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 rough, but it's fun. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm back to work since the end of July, that's taken up a lot of my um, fun free time that I had as far as doing uh-huh. edits and interviews yeah. and all that because I could do that. Then I could do it throughout the whole day. Yeah. But yeah. now it's gotta you know do it Saturdays and Sundays and all this stuff. <laughs> You know, but it's fun though. Like I really do mm-hmm. enjoy it. I don't ever want. I don't want to stop doing this. But I, if I ever get to the point where I feel like it's a job or feel like it's too much to the point where I'm not enjoying it, so to speak. Take not me a vacation. Yeah, take yeah, a little time break. Comes. Mm-hmm. Which I've done that. I've done that once yeah. or twice. Yeah. And it is refreshing, but I think more so the fact to where I'm not having, where I'm not enjoying it anymore. Because mm-hmm. that was more so the fact that I just needed a mental break to kind of reset. Yeah, like yeah, we all need that. I'm doing this, then I'm like, I gotta stop. Which I don't think it's ever gonna happen because I don't think I'm. I know I'm never gonna stop loving horror or meeting horror. No, there's always horror. There's always a lot of horror new things coming out. I really love the horror community out out here. We we like the whole horror community is so awesome. They're so supportive and they're so like sweet and nice for like a horror like community. They're just like super nice and super out there. Like. I really love uh, Hillbilly Terry. I love uh, the Beast. I love the Shock Fest Film Festival. If you ever saw them, they're like really cool, and they're like they're so with the with the fans. They're so with with other people, and they like stick together, and and they just love to help one another. And I love that. So I'm like, I really love the horror community a lot. Like they they supported this, they're supporting it. They're talking to me about this and that, and I was like, that's cool, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's like it's really it's really fun. <laughs> I really be. love it. That's how it should be though. Being you know, it should support supporting each other. I know, you know? people who are you know jerks, assholes, whatever you want to call whatever you want to call them. Yeah, all, we've, yeah. All, we've, all, we've all worked with them. You know who to stay away from. I know. I know yeah. people to stay away from. I won't mention them on this, but behind. Yeah, the scenes, I know some people too, and they're on my other page, so that you can check all that out. <laughs> I'm not going to say any names. They're so there. But yeah, I... Well, I have a couple here. One, I'm not going to say any names because I'm not with the whole child drama. And then two, I'm not going to say any names because I don't want to give those people any shine. Like, good Mm -hmm. publicity, bad publicity is publicity. I'm not going to give you any shine. So that's how I I do things. Yeah. 
That's that's true too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's yeah. We have our, you know, child people, but <laughs> I love how it is. I love the human. Oh yeah, just every day. It's it's awesome. I love it. I mean, and, um, dude, yeah. the way that me and you met through Joe. Well, I seen her. Mm-hmm. I seen you on her podcast, and I just mm-hmm. I love to have you on my show. Mm-hmm. And then Joe. You both of you gave me your information to get you onto this podcast, and I, mm-hmm. it was, I like me and her would go back and forth with that all the time with guests now. Joe is awesome. She's so yeah. sweet and beautiful, and she's so funny. I love her. I love her her aura. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> she's That's awesome. Great energy, and she's mm-hmm. like, she's really, really, really great at what she does with this. Oh yeah, podcast. she's awesome. She rocks it. And connecting with people and all that, and I just mm-hmm. love it. I just love. It. I tell them like you, you, you do great. <laughs> you do great. <laughs> like I've had her on a few times, which I, I think only one episode's out. But I've had mm-hmm. her on a few times I think her and my co-host, and we all just click so well. It's so fun to record, you know, doing movie reviews of people like that. To where mm-hmm. you kind of feed off each other's energy. You know what the people are going to say. Almost you kind of know how they're going to react to certain things. So you're just like, this is fun. This is good. Yeah, this is people who you know, you record with them, and they're kind of just. I don't know if it's uh, – I don't want to say they're bored. I think they're more shy than anything, so they're kind of just yeah. quiet, and they don't know what to yeah. say. So yeah. Sometimes for the whole episode, sometimes they warm up to it, which I get if you got to warm up to it. <laughs> but it's just like that energy she brings for her show is great. Yep. Her yep. Is great, and it's perfect. Yeah. It's going to keep growing. It's going to grow a oh, lot. Yeah. I like how she made her own little pro- her little cups and stuff. I, I want to try to get one of those cups. I forgot which one it was. It the was like mug? a, like a coffee. Was, mug. Yeah, the coffee mug she made. It was really cute, but I don't remember what the saying was. I was like, I want to get one of those. And so I'm like, you made those? She's like, yeah. I'm like those are cute. I want to get one from her. <laughs> yeah, I want to get one of her um her shirts, the Any Last Words podcast shirts. Mm-hmm. Those look cool too. Those merch is definitely a great thing, and they, I got to do that soon myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where's your merch, dude? <laughs> we'll have some hats coming soon. My wife. She ordered some, um, well, we got a bunch of hats from Walmart, like the winter hats or winter beanies, whatever you want to call them. Oh, my God. I will take one of those. I love the beanies. I love and beanies. It's the, my, it just has horror with Sir Sturdy. Mm-hmm. And she's going to sew those. I have to start bringing them downstairs to her, but she's going to sew those on for me to nice. distribute. But Yeah. I love the beanies. And it's this time of year, fall. I love my beanies and hoodies. I ordered a hoodie from an artist and it was the wrong size so we we're talking about trying to get the large because i was gonna wear that on this but i was like it just looks weird <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this looks too tiny on me but yeah that's that's yeah merch is everything i know uh when it gets closer to october i have a website already for christmas last year but once it gets to october I'm opening up the merch site so they can, so people can like if they don't want to do the indigo they can like grab some stuff there. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I got this nice thread. What is it called? A tum- tumbler? Tumbler, yep. Yep, tumbler for cold and hot. And I used it, and it actually it stays hot for a while because I I like to drink coffee in the heat because I'm a weirdo. And you get a straw. <laughs> a metal though. <laughs> and then you got the shirts. And then the mask, because it's the new, it's the new, new normal, you know. <laughs> You're going to go fashion with the mask now. Isn't that crazy? Well, it, I mean, in uh, China and Japan, they've been wearing masks all their life, like, the whole time. And now people are like, oh, I don't want to wear them. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense, especially at least when, at the very least. When people are sick and they have to go out, it's like, okay, we'll throw a mask on so you're not spreading those germs. Yeah, my, my grandma's sick, so we, we we are, like, on it with the mask. We don't want to, you know, get her more worse than she is. I I care about my family. Some people, they don't. So it'll be their fault if something happens. But yeah. I care way too much about my family. So I'm all – I saw, like, I, I just flew – spitting everywhere again. <laughs> I just flew in, like, at one – from uh, Baltimore for a horror film called Jack B. Nimble. And it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's, I don't know if you love Judge of Dragons or yeah, Judge of Dragons, the style game. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like about that. And it's pretty, pretty cool. I, I worked with uh, Mr. Wells um, from Mad Max and uh, Miss Lean from The Crow. So she was one of my favorite idols 
favorite actresses of all time and I was her sidekick in this movie sidekick yeah I was her sidekick in this movie so I was like really stoked to work with them very sweet people it was fun and when I fly I double mask I double mask because I I don't it's flying and I'm scared and it's what what's messed up is like what was it Air, American Airlines you know how they have all the six feet distance stuff everywhere right mm -hmm. We go in the airplane. We're all sitting together. <laughs> what is that? I'm like, wait, what? Y'all want us six feet away from each other, but when we're in the plane, we're booked. Mm -hmm. There's people sitting right by me. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so like, I don't know, American Airlines. Y'all, y'all are. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm happy. I. When I went to Baltimore, they put my suitcase under the, the plane and the thing, and they damaged it. I got a big old hole in it. The handle broke. But you know what they did? They gave me a nice new one, 10-year warranty, so I'm not mad. <laughs> well, at, least, at least they replaced it. I guess that's a good thing. Like, this cute one. I'm like, oh, it's tiny, but okay. But, it, I mean, it works. I, I had everything fit in there, but it was really cute. And it's 10-year warranty, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> there you go. But it's just funny how things are. The rules. Oh, yeah. It's like, you guys are breaking your own rules, but okay. <laughs> now, are you doing anything special for Halloween or anything fun or just even if it's something just in your household with family and friends or family? Um, what am I doing for Halloween? <laughs> I think I'm going to probably... What am I doing? Oh, oh, oh uh, I am going to LA for a horror event. Uh, they pushed it during that time, I, I forgot what day it is, but I, I'm a judge uh, on a horror event. So I'll be in L.A. selling my merch and being a judge judge for a horror makeup kind of thing. So that's going to be fun. Nice. But, but for Halloween, I, I would love to dress up and do something, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how anything would go because, you know, you can't, you can't go to bars mm -hmm. and drink. But if they have food, you're all right. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's so weird. <laughs> I so think, like, like, I don't. Know. We're gonna just be really, really simple, and probably that corny couple. But we're just gonna dress up and just stay home and chill, have some, oh, food, have some drinks. I have my that. nephew. Duh, I have a nephew. Maybe I'll just chill with him. Like, hey, let's go and do something. I don't know. How old's your nephew? Oh. Really? He is uh four now. He is four. Oh, he, he loves candy. Five. Yeah, yeah, he loves candy. What you can do is just get like. I mean, because he's only four or five years old. Get like a small bag of candy. Maybe if you have plastic Easter eggs, just something to hide the candy in or something, maybe a little horror trick to hide the candy in around the house. It's a good it's idea. Great, but I heard it somewhere else. So, well, no, I'm still that's on a, idea. That's a good idea. There is a, there is a thing. Uh, it's a new tradition that a little boy made up for like the wolf, uh, mm -hmm. werewolves. It's something like that. And, and he like, you know, he uh, hides treats and stuff. I, I, I gotta look it up. It's I, I know he did that, but I also I think there was uh, pumpkins that were kind of like eggs. Yeah. They're like pumpkins. You could put little candies in there. Yeah, I might as well do that. That'd be fun. Have him go find the candy. <laughs> and I mean, if you had adults over there, you could do the same thing, but just yeah, you know, models hidden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the little yep, yeah, those little Halloween treat bags with little booze in them too. Y'all go find the booze. <laughs> <laughs> <Find the booze. laughs> but yeah, that's kind of some couple of good ideas. And then, I, from what I heard, they're gonna probably cancel Halloween. You can't cancel Halloween. Like, what? Everybody's distanced. They're all outside. They got masks on. You know, just put the candy on the side of the, you know, chair or something. Let them take it. You don't have to be outside. Cause they're outside wearing masks. Like, come on, that's that's social distance. Yeah. That's a, that's still, don't cancel Halloween. That's dumb. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> Super dumb. I just feel that it's going to be, I don't know. If some people will try it. I do feel it's going to be nice. I guess you just got to be creative with it. That's what I was saying. If you have kids, yeah. you know, hide the stuff around the house and kind of yep. go have their fun. If it's adults, same thing. Hide yep. candy and drinks around the house and have your fun. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be different. But the, you know what it is, too, with trick-or-treating? from now compared to when we were kids is even before this whole COVID thing, there wasn't that many trick-or-treaters out compared to it what it was dying. When we were kids, 
it was like everybody trick or treating yeah. nowadays. Adults. I mean, we had adults trick or treat. We had everybody trick or treat, and now they're like, "Oh, it's against the law for you to trick or treat if you're over 12." I'm like, "That's stupid." It is. Everybody should go trick or treating, and yeah, it's it dying. It's dying. Like after, like before COVID nineteen was dying. Like, and now, like, like, like I did not have. I didn't see any Chris like trick or treaters out here. One, and I'm like, "What's going on? I, this is sad. <laughs> this is so sad." I feel maybe. I mean. Some of it is, I know a lot more parents feel safer with their kids going to like stores and malls, which I understand. But then I feel some of it is just, like you said, like we both said, it's just kind of dying out to where it's not, it's not that fun thing anymore. It's just, I don't know, which, which sucks because as a kid, that was one of the most fun times I've ever had. Just especially when you got to the age to where you didn't have to go with your parents anymore. You can go with just your friends and your, you know, your cousins and kids, you know, people that were your age. Yeah. A lot more fun. And that, I miss that so much. So it's just like I miss it too. I still want to do it. I still want it. Like I don't care how old I am. I want to go do it. Aren't you too old for this? I'm like, you don't... aren't you too old for giving us candy? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, don't talk to me. <laughs> Get <in> my candy. <laughs> I say that because I remember going. I think the last time I went I was about twenty eight, twenty nine, mm-hmm. between twenty seven and twenty nine. And I went. It was me, my wife, my sister my two stepsons and my two nephews. Mm-hmm. And every time we went to, like I had some mask on and every time we went to a house, I would just have the kids would just say trick or treat. And I would just hold the bag open, <laughs> hold my bag open. And one lady was like, you're not a kid. Are you? She's like, I don't care. You could have some candy. You're not doing anything. I'm just like, yeah, see? I, I find it funny though. Yeah. You really think about it. You tell people, you tell your children, you don't go to a stranger's house. You don't take candy from strangers, but Halloween, you ignore those rules. So yeah. like, well, man, I should be able to ignore those rules too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've seen it lately, but they're uh, they're uh, they're spreading uh, pictures around Facebook of how they're doing, how they're going to do it if if Halloween they better not cancel Halloween. It'd be stupid. But they have a long pole from the door and deck it out Halloween style, and they have a skeleton with its mouth open, so when a trick-or-treater comes, they drop the candy in, and then it goes in their bag. But it's like a long pole, like a long pipe. I was like, that's that's an also good idea, too. I'm yeah. like, they're, everybody's wearing masks, everyone's all outside, social distance, you know? I mean, that could work, too. And that, yeah. that would be a better idea and more more fun idea for the kids, too, than yeah. just this like, is be cool candy outside. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have those kids who are just gonna. I'll take them. Yeah, yeah. I can't be mad at that because as a kid, I did that. <laughs> so I, I can't even. I can't. I can't be mad at a kid for doing what I did as a kid when it comes yeah. to something like that. That's one. Yeah. Especially if it's just a group of kids that are trick or treating. That's when you do, you wouldn't do it when your parents are around. Your parents are just like you take one piece and that's it. But when it's you and your friends, yeah, you'd be like the fastest person there gets the candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was like that too. You know what was really fun when I used to live in Killeen? We usually go to the rich side Mm because the rich side gives you the big candy bars. (laughs) So (laughs) we were like, well, guess where we're going? To the rich side. And every door we get these big candy bars, man. I miss that so much. There was was this one house we used to go to. And this lady, like, you go in her front porch, right? And she has, Mm -hmm. like, a Kit Kat. Reese's, whatever candy candy bars there were, all king size, you get one of each. So what we did, we did one of each of those. Then we go back to the neighborhood again, switch masks, switch costumes a little bit. They go back to her house and get like one more. I think we did it like three times before she caught. She's like, all right, I, you guys have been here before. It's cool. It's funny. But this is the last time you guys have been here today. I'm like, okay. Get out of here. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Just just stuff like that, not even being mischievous, but just the stuff like that with the just getting the candy and being out with their friends it's and all that. It's not the same. It's, it's not. Sucks. And I mean, again, this is even pre COVID. Halloween was kind of dying out. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's ways to make it fun still. I mean, like I told you, me and my wife were just dressing up, staying yeah. home, yeah, having some food, having some drinks, probably throwing some horror movies or whatever. Yeah, kind of go from there. But I mean. That'll probably be the new. I mean, I, again, I'm a, I'm an adult. She's we're adults, so that's that could be the new norm for us, which is fine to me. Until yeah. we can have Halloween parties again with some friends and family that enjoy Halloween as much as we do, which yeah. is be the same thing: dressing up and eating and yeah. watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, um, 
I don't know. I don't know what else. I can't really think of what else to do. Like it would be co- another cool thing would be to maybe for people like, oh, if you had your movie out already, like having your shorts or just people who have indie horror movies or indie horror shorts to mm. show them on Halloween, maybe do like a zoom type of meeting or like yeah. um, a stream yard, but what Joe does and kind of have like the actors, actresses, producers on there mm-hmm. showing the movie. And then once the movie's over, do a little Q and a at the end of it. Yeah, that'd be cool. But this won't come out until next year. <laughs> hey, that's an idea for next year. <laughs> yeah, next holiday. Yeah, next 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 year. Next Halloween, if this still keeps going. <laughs> it's going to keep going. Oh, you mean your movie's going to keep going? I, I, were you talking about your movie or the COVID? The COVID. Oh. COVID. But for sure, we're filming next year. But we, we've already, like, I already got everything set for, the, like, all that protocol. We just, have nur- like nurses for each like states and stuff like that, so we are prepared. And I got all the cast and crew mask, so they're good. <laughs> like you got to wear the mask <laughs> when you were not filming. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Make sure you do selfies too, guys. <laughs> it's smart. It's a good way to that, again. It's yeah. simple promotion, simple marketing, just doing yeah. little things like that. Because I feel like people yeah. are on the, glued to their phones anyway. You're going to take a selfie in a picture anyway. Hey, I'm on set. Well, just wear the mask that shows the movie name. Yeah. Post it in the movie group or whatever the, and post it all over. Yeah. That's why I'm to, after this, I'm going to like do some push more promotions. Mm-hmm. I had people grab some of the merch and I told them, can you do me a favor? Take a selfie, hashtag and tag Christmas slash and tell them to go to Indiegogo. That's all you need to do. <laughs> I'm going to bug them today too. Do it. <laughs> When I order, you got a day to rest. <laughs> when I order some merch from you, I guess I'll have to do the same thing then, huh? <laughs> do it. Do it. Easy, though. Yeah. I kind of missed up on some of the the perks, so I added more a little bit here and there. Mm-hmm. And it sucks because when they already buy it, you can't change things around. And I'm like, ah, oh, poopy. Because everyone's like, oh, are you going to get Blu-ray? I'm like, oh. Because to me, I thought the DVD was the Blu-ray. Like, it's already a Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. So I just I was I told people like no it's Blu-ray it's DVD and Blu-ray I thought DVD was meant for Blu-ray too I don't know I thought things changed okay well I'll just fix that guys <laughs> I'm yeah. like it's also a Blu-ray because <laughs> like oh we're gonna go buy the Blu-ray now like no it's it's the DVD it's DVD and Blu-ray oh okay well I'll just fix it so you guys know that it's it's the same thing <laughs> like you you'll get the same uh, DVD that is Blu-ray <laughs> the Blu-ray DVD combo. Yeah, yeah, combo, yeah. Because I was, I was like, I thought that's what it meant. DVD was a Blu-ray. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm slow. I thought, I thought we 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 changed it or something. <laughs> no, blue Blu-ray is basically. I mean, it's a disc. It doesn't scratch as easy as a, blue, as a DVD. I think it can hold mm-hmm. a lot more content than a DVD. And yeah. It's quality, like it's the whole. Mm-hmm. That's how you can get like the HD, the 1080, whatever the other numbers Four, are. Like 4K, is that what it is too? The Blu-ray is 4K. I believe some Blu-rays can be 4K. If not, they mm-hmm. have something that is 4K. Oh, okay. Well, for, yeah, well, 4K would be nice. Okie dokie. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, okay, cool. But, I mean, even most people have either DVD or Blu-ray. I'm not saying a lot of people don't have 4K yet, but yeah. if you go Blu-ray, DVD, you're good. People okay. Yeah, it's a, com- it's a combo. Because everyone's like, we want Blu-ray. I'm like, but it is. <laughs> let me fix that for you. Let me let me put more into that. Yeah, right. I got that. I'm gonna get. I gotta get the Blu-ray, and I have to get a shirt, and I'll be satisfied. <laughs> a Blu-ray and a shirt. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna add some more stuff to it. I got uh like uh Sean Sean uh Phillips, he's mm-hmm. in it. He's in it, and I I just ordered the DVD so he could sign them. Oh. He he did this one, but I guess you get like four combo. So he's like, get that one. It's good for, like, people like that one. I'm like, okay. So I got, like, two of those. I'm just, and then I'm just ordering more uh, DVDs for Lloyd to sign and, and a couple posters for him to sign once. Um, like, when it gets closer to next year, I'll just send it out to them to sign and stuff. I'm like, don't worry about it this year. I'll get all that next year. I don't want to, because I want to, like, focus on getting the Indigo go out and doing all the other stuff for it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Like we we are we're pretty much all over around the world with articles and stuff. We got a couple articles coming out soon, and I'm doing more bot podcasts this whole week <laughs> for it. 
So I'm just like pushing, pushing it out. But yeah, the monsters are looking good. The storylines are pretty good. And I'm really, really happy to like just shoot and get all these cool ass crazy. Um, oh, excuse my language. Crazy okay. scenes. <laughs> it's her on this show. I do it all the time. Okay. <laughs> like, sorry, poopy. Oh. <laughs> Right. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I don't know why I didn't decide to do a fe like a feature film in the first place. I was like, I, I thought a short film would probably be just a little easy and see what 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 happens. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, well, because people were like, wait, why don't you just make a feature film? Why don't you make part two? I'm actually gonna make part two. There's gonna be a part two to this. That's awesome. And, you know, I was trying to trying to get a hold of somebody that wanted to do a crossover, and I'm like, well, let's talk about that. But I haven't. I'm not saying anything yet, but we're trying to wait. I'm waiting for him to call me <laughs> so we can discuss about that. But I'm like, yeah, let's just do the feature film. We'll we'll use what we have to just do a like a, a proof of concept of like, hey, this is what we're going for. Love it. <laughs> and yeah. I I've been getting a lot of good um, feedback on a teaser because I did it also because like I try getting people like some people like the editors would be like, hey, uh, oh, I want to do your teaser for you. Uh, I want to I want to help you with the movie and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. So I I had like five different people. Uh, they were taking too long. <laughs> they didn't get what I wanted, and they like didn't listen to what I wanted. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do it myself. I'm actually gonna do the whole feature film myself too. I'm gonna edit it. Oh. Might as well. I'm just gonna do it myself. Edit it. I don't need nobody. I can do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to edit it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm like, because I know what I want. Mm. And, and I can, and I have it here already. And I, I've been editing for so long that I'm so used to it. And I'm like, really love editing. So I'm like, I'm just going to edit myself. So I'm excited to actually. That's good. Though. Done, edit. <laughs> if you enjoy editing. Then that's a good, that's a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it can be time consuming, especially if you're doing for oh. you full length film. Yeah. But, I won't be doing much anyways. I I mean, I that's what I'll be doing is doing that nonstop because mm. I don't have anything else going on during the time in the summertime. And I can't stand the heat, so I won't be outside that long. <laughs> Sorry, Summer. I like fall better, but I'll be editing my stuff in the house. I'll be a hermit crab <laughs> just working on that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, it's good, though, because that's the way you get your stuff out there is actually sitting down and working on it instead of just yep. like, well, you know, there's this party I can go to and it's beautiful outside. I should be outside. It's like, no, well. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'd like to stay inside. <laughs> I'll get it done. I'll get it done that summer. And then hopefully we have a couple of places we want to show it. I know for sure in San Antonio area, uh, we're thinking of a, I forgot what the drive-in is called, but I'm like, wow, let's do a freaking, you know, sneak peek pre premiere at a drive-in. That'll be awesome. That'll be so cool. And I'm like, let's do that because I'll be. That's like that's that's fun. I like that. <laughs> so right. I'm excited to, to to do something like that. I don't know if I mean I I think I've seen people do sneak previews, sneak premieres at a drive-in on I'm their sure films. Have. I'm sure some have. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of that. But I'm like, I'm like, I'm really stoked. I'm really excited to work on it, get it edited, going to. <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet. I bet. I can tell you are, which is, again, it's great. You should be yeah. happy about it. You want to get it out there to the people. Yeah, yeah. it's my baby. <laughs> I'm like, I want to get this out there. I know I'm still, for the, the last uh, Indiegogo, I'm, I like to meet the people and thank them for, for you know, donating. And some like they're they're on the other side of the world, but we didn't have the shirts they want. So I told them wait till October, and I'll send you guys the shirts. We have to wait for them to be made in October. But everywhere, but everywhere else, you know, I like to go and drop them off and meet them in person and and thank them very much. <laughs> and I'm I'm not I'm not too fond of the mail situation now because of COVID nineteen. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to give you guys your stuff in mail yet because of what's going on because. It took a while for my stuff to come to me, so I'm like, well, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, half the people are in Minnesota, half are in L.A., and half are here, so I just drive around, because that's what I do anyways, is drive around. So I was like, I'm just going to drop them off, you guys. <laughs> and I like to meet people. It's awesome. <laughs> that's dedication right there. Mm -hmm. that, that's very, yeah. 
that's really dedicated right there. Because me, yeah. I'll, be like, you know what? I'll just send you guys the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I probably would have to for so like over to the other side of the world and other people. But since I'm going to be in that area anyways, I guess my was you know just drop it off to him. I already dropped one off to uh, a mama, the actor's mom. She's like, I didn't know she she had donated. I was so cute. So I was like, I dropped it off in Austin for her. She's like, thank you. You're, like, You're welcome. <laughs> so that was cool. I like to meet you. That's cool, though. Mm-hmm. Again, me, you can live right across the street. Like, Did you get it in the mail yet? Can't you just bring you it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know what? I'm just going to drop it off. Whatever. You're right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's quick. Like, yeah, I feel like you, all right, I'm going to drop your mail off to the post office. I'm like next door to you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? No. See, I should have just dropped it off to you. <laughs> I want to make sure people get their stuff. Like today, I one of my friends, uh, D Mac, he has his own clothing line, uh, fly, Flyness, and it's a hat. Well, I'm trying to figure out where I put that. Okay, so he he, it's in a, a bag. What is it? A, a folder. It looked like it was already open, and I was, like, freaking out. So I called him, like, did you put anything else in there? Because it looked like someone tried to open it and grab something. He's like, no, just a hat. I'm like, all right, cool. Because now now I don't I don't trust the mail system because of all that. Mm-hmm. People will be stealing. I'm like, oh, don't be stealing my stuff. <laughs> yeah. Don't be doing that. So I'm like, uh-uh. So, yeah, I, I, I will uh, let some of the packers just drop their stuff off to them. Oh, that's cool. Though. That's nice of you too. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that, yeah, there might be a few more people like, "Oh, she's gonna come drop it off." Cool. I live in this. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like to. I like. I want to meet them and say thank you and stuff like that. Yeah, I already emailed everybody from the last one to like, okay, I'll, once I get there, I'll, I'm go, I, I want to meet you and drop off your your, you know, your perks and stuff. <laughs> that's, good. that's cool. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Seems like you've been busy too then lately, though, which is again great. Staying busy, getting this uh, together. Yeah, yeah. Just just pushing uh, the indigo go out, and then pushing it to articles, and you know, just promoting it here and there, and um, writing the new uh, people into the, the script. Like I'm kind of done, but I need think four more, four to five more pages for it to be a ninety minute movie so i still that's why i'm like i did one of the like couple of the perks for them to come on board and you know have a a a fun experience to be on a horror set and get killed by very first rudolph monster so that's cool (laughs) and so i just add them in like i already send it out to carrie to send it out to other people she's my ad so -hmm. they can get a good feel of like what's going on in the script and get ready to go because we are going to be rehearsing in two months and then this weekend of course i'm having meetings with the crew so we can get the shot list and everything ready to go so when the time comes we are ready and we are going to shoot and not take time and waste time (laughs) because we were like it's a lot of it's a feature film so it's a lot in in a four-day expanse so we need to make sure we know what we're doing where we're at and we're good to go. That's good, though. Good That's to go. Good. I like to be prepared before that. And I know we've been doing this. When did I want to do the feature film? A couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And already people, some of my my makeup artists are already making the props and stuff. So that's freaking awesome. So they're working on getting everything ready to go before the holidays. Because, you know, people have families, friends, loved ones, and they want to spend time for the holidays. And I told everybody, I need y'all to get everything done by the holidays, by October. Because when the holidays is done, we're going, back, we're going to work. We're going to be filming. Because <laughs> it's end of January. We got to gotta work. Hopefully, y'all got to make sure y'all got all that stuff ready to go so you guys don't worry about it on the holidays. Mm-hmm. And that we're ready. So, yeah. It's been on everybody's butt. <laughs> you know, every day. Making sure everybody's getting what they're doing and you understand what's going on and that they're getting ready because, you know, I don't want them to be slacking during the hall, you know, after the holidays, we are like already about to shoot and they don't have anything ready to go. I'm like, no, we need to do this before we, we get the holiday breaks and stuff like that. 
So yeah, just working, working. Exhausted, but I'm happy. I see the results. I'm loving what's going on. I'm loving the monsters. We got pretty much all the location down. We got some good cast and crew, so I'm really excited. Super excited. I just can't wait. I'm just like, I'm counting down the days. <laughs> it's to film. I want to kill people. I want to make this Rudolph look epic. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm really excited. <laughs> Oh, let's go. <laughs> no, it's, it'll be good, though. Like, once, once it's all said and done, all the stress and headaches and being tired and exhausted will be worth it because you'll be like, oh, it, yep. it's, it's finally here. It's finally out. Yep. What the fans think. Yep. And we all, we actually do have a sled that is a monster because that poster, I have a little sled in there. He is actually, he's going to come alive, too. <laughs> He's going to kill some people, too. Thank so you. I have a miss up Rudolph, a miss, miss up sled, a miss up Santa Claus, and Mrs. Claus, and a special little thing at the end. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about it. Just crazy stuff I put in there. This is just going to be a lot of – no one's safe. No kids are safe. No children are safe. And no babies are safe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had, They had to go. <laughs> so there's going to be – there's gonna be a lot of bad scenes with babies and kids dying. <laughs> hey, I want an epic. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> no one is safe. No wifey, no moms, no kids, no babies. No one's safe. <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty twisted. As I said it's twisted, guys. It's very twisted. It's horrible. It's twisted. <laughs> it's cheesy, but so so horrible. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. And, and it's funny because I, I was like, can we get kids that can actually, like, do what I want them to do, like, die and, like, get killed by Rudolph? And people were like, oh, yeah, we got some kids that are, like, they heard about it and they want to be in it. I'm like, oh, God, okay. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm like, sick, twisted kids. I love it. <laughs> that's exciting. It is. I'm like, really? Okay, let's do this. But yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm like super happy. I can't wait to see the finished products of it. Me too. I'm like, I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. And just the, the mindset that I had for it, this is so messed up. But, you know, that's me. <laughs> Creativity. Yeah. That's all. It's art. Yep. It is art. Shoot. I don't care. It's art. I had, I had this random person message me saying, why do you have to do horror films? Why can't you do anything love? I'm like, because I love horror films. That's love. <laughs> you know, like, and, like, it's a freaking horror movie. It's not real. Like, it, it's it's a horror. It's a, it's a movie. Calm down. So, it's, I, yeah, I get those people. You oh have to see what those type of people though. What you what they have to understand is, well, I guess you you got to ignore them. What they have to understand is, you're not gonna if you were to do a love movie or a comedy movie or whatever whatever the case may be, something that doesn't involve horror at all. Mm. You're not gonna put your passion into it. So you're not gonna really care. You'll yeah, just, like, no. you're like this, I'm not feeling this. I I can't relate to this. It's it's just not me. Me is yeah. like me doing yeah. another type of podcast. The only other type of podcast I could possibly do, which I still might or may not do, is sports. But mm -hmm. Horror, there's just so much more that I can do with it, and it's so much more gravitating and more entertaining for me. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, I'm not a romantic person. I don't care for love. Like, yeah, I, I, there's love, but I'm like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't care for that. That's not what I want. I want horror. I'm happy with horror. I love the you know the '80s style. I don't care about the love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm not into that. That's like not me. I'm I'm more of like bloody gory person. I'm a bloody gory person. And action. I love fighting scenes. I'm a tomboy. I love tomboy stuff. Like I like boy stuff. I wish I was a boy. <laughs> you know, that's what I like. It's all this other stuff. I like I grown up with you know, playing with boy toys, Ninja Turtles, uh freaking uh Double Dragon movie, playing video games, Sonic. Like I'm, I'm more of a boy. I like boy stuff. I don't like girly stuff. <laughs> That's not my style. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do the love romantic stuff. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there'll be some in this or the action, but it, no. <laughs> That's no. <laughs> 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 no, 
there'll be some love making stuff, but the, but the love, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. that, <laughs> wrong with that. That's pretty. That's eighties horror. It's blood, guts, boobs, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be some boobs, and there's going to be some booties, and there's going to be some humping, and you don't know, you know, you know. <laughs> there's going to be some crazy. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I gotta have. I have. I have to put that in there. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you at all. Right. <laughs> That's what it's all about with the '80s. You gotta have some chick running butt naked in the woods, or man. I don't know. Both. Add a whole bunch of stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a scene. I hopefully he will do it. Where he's like running butt naked out of a tent and he has a Santa Claus hat. Because I think that's hilarious fuck. <laughs> that is funny. You know? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he's being chased by the rain. <laughs> <But naked. laughs> Sorry, we're just thinking about the scene. This is crack me up. I cannot wait. Oh my God, I'm crying right now. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. <laughs> I hope all this energy is going to be in this movie. All this energy you have right there <laughs> in this movie. It better be. <laughs> you get out of my get out of my energy bubble. You're not helping. <laughs> like you're you're ruining the bubble. Don't ruin. Don't pop my bubble. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. I am. This is like my first feature film. This is my baby. I'm giving birth to this. <laughs> first of many. <laughs> yeah, birth of one to many. Yes, because after this one, I'm doing another horror film. It's another horror. It's a horror sci-fi, and it's called Blood from Snow, and it's about um the Ra the Walla Man snow. It's a real snow in a Calif Safara, Safara, California, something California, where it like it turns the snow red, and it's like a toxic algae. So if you eat it, of course you're gonna die from it. Now don't eat it, but it's like it looks like blood. And I had a dream about it. I had a dream about it, and I'm like, I'm gonna write a movie about it. I'm gonna write the novel first, and I'm gonna write a movie. I'm gonna do a movie, and hopefully film it end of next year. Yeah, end of next year. And so I woke up, and I'm like, man, this is crazy. I'm like, is this real? I feel like it's real. So I look it up, and it is. It's an algae. It turns to snow red, bloody snow, and you can't eat it because you, you die. It's a toxic algae, and if you step in it, you just, like, your shoes start getting, like, you start dying, like, die. But it's, like, so, like, it's, it's, it's toxic. And I'm like, oh, I can make it all mutated and stuff and be, like, a, like have the, the humans be in it too long, and they start turning, like, all, like, ugh, like, monstery. I'm like, hmm. I like There's another movie. Yep. So I even have the, my friend. He's a tattoo artist. He's actually doing the cover for the novel and the poster. So he's working on that. So I'm like, we're doing we're, we're, we're doing this. Like I already got a location already set, ready to go, and it's in Red Wing, Minnesota. They are so down to be having uh, films made there. So I'm like, there you go. I'm good to go. And I don't even think I need a good like a lot of budget for it mm -hmm. because like you could do the 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 special effects of because I'll, I'll film in the snow but the special effects for it that's easy to do in the uh, adobe that's all that's all i can do this can do that can do this can do that <laughs> there you go. so i'm excited i mean i got two movies to do yay but i want to do a novel because my dad did a novel and i'm like i'm gonna copy him i'm gonna make a novel of the of the movie a book and then do the movie so i'm like i'm really excited and i have a couple of people of mine to to play in it, Mr. Um, cannot pronounce his name, but he's on Saw 3. He's one of the sheriffs, the cops. I'm horrible with names. I Me would... too. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and then I was thinking of Michael uh, Bauer Bauer, to be one of the scientists. And Miss uh, Ling, I told her about it, and she's, like, she's down to do it. She's, you know, we just got to talk about it. We just got to talk, and then we go from there. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm really excited. Yay. <laughs> good That's good. So you already have your next. Yeah, we have, yeah, I already have my next film coming. I'm going to be doing after this one. I'm like, ready to go. Let's do this, guys. Yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing is doing the novel and then working editing on this in the summertime. So there you go. I'm already, I'm already know what I got to do. <laughs> Keep yourself booked and busy. Mm-hmm. Yep.
but it's with something you love doing. So that's, that's another good thing about it. It's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. I, I'm like, I got, cause I did a lot of, like, I do a lot of extra work just being an extra, but since all the, the nonsense that happened to me, car accident, um, I can't be out in the heat too long or I can't be out too long standing or sitting. Mm -hmm. So I, re I retired myself from being an extra this year. So like, <laughs> so no more extra work, like no more being an extra. Like I got to focus on me as, you know, a filmmaker, director and making movies. That's all I want to do. Make my own movies. Okay. Be like Steven Sago. What's his name? Steven Sago. He's an actor. Yeah, he's the one. He he actually did. He's the one with the ponytail, right? And he does kung fu, and he goes like this. He moves really, really slow, but he still beats up everybody. Which I yeah, do. yeah, that guy. Okay, so he does his own. He does he does his own writing. So all those movies he done, that's his that's his scripts. So and he like wrote his scripts and stuff, and went to these people and said, "Hey, I want to make a movie." They're like, "Well, you we can buy a script from you." He's like, "No, I want to be in my. I want." to be in my movie. I want to be the lead in my movie. And there you go. He did his own stuff. So I was like, that's me. That <laughs> like, no, <laughs> I'm not selling my script. I'm going to be in my movie. <laughs> that, that's his movie because it's like, it, it, he always ends up in a bar scene fighting to save one person. And he beats up the whole bar. <laughs> he moves like he's like 87 years old. I'm like, <laughs> how the hell is he beating up everybody in this bar? <laughs> And another thing I find funny, because I feel like, for example, if somebody, you know, with his talent that he does in the movies, his fighting yeah. talent, I feel like if the whole bar wanted to jump him, they could easily whoop his ass. If yeah. 40 people come at you at once, <laughs> you're not going to beat them all. But it's always yeah. one person at a time coming from, you know, I'd be mean, coming with a chair. He'll do yeah. something crazy, take the chair from them. Those movies are awesome. It was They're so hilarious. awesome. It, was, it is. It's hilarious. It's funny. You know, like, this dude, he's crazy. But it's good. Like, it's good. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> no, that's, that's cool, though, that you, you're taking that route. You didn't let it, like, discourage you from being involved with movies. You're like, you know what? Let me just, be, I want to be a director now. Maybe that's what you want to be in the beginning. Yeah. And I just, like, just, just noticed that, too. Like, yeah, I always had... I always cross paths with people who are so cocky and just try to put you down and stuff, especially like even other directors, even like casting directors and, and people like just totally all, all kinds of people. And I'm just like, no, you know, it's going to come and bite you in the ass for treating other people like that. Like if karma is a bitch and it's going to come to you and I just ignore it and just keep going. I'm like, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to do my own stuff. I'm just going to do my own stuff. I don't need to worry about being in somebody else's movie or trying to get this part or that part. I'd rather just do my own stuff and just be in my own stuff. That's where you got to go. You got to go your own way. I'm, like, I'm just going to do my own stuff. Do it my own way. I had what made me mad is like, you know, Nicholas Brandon from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm probably sure. If I see him, I know who he is. Like his yeah, he yeah. plays uh, Xander. He's a sweet man. Sweet, sweet man. Very talented. He also has learning disability like me. So sometimes we do have a very bad temper. It's hard to control it sometimes. But the fact is, you know, if somebody did something in the past, he, I believe, you know, I believe him. I believe everything. Like, I believe that you shouldn't judge people in the past for what they did in the past because they're trying to be a better person in the future. If, and I, if they are changing, though, if they're still... If they are changing, yes. Right yes. There. And they are changing. They have changed. They actually have done charities for those kind of people that needed the help. So he's been doing a lot of charities for people that, you know, have the same problem as me and him. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the so-called actor wanted to mock him and be ugly towards him Knowing that there are directors who are seeing your stuff. Do you think we're going to be okay with that? Trying to want to hire you, but then you're being, you're saying stupid crap about other people. No, I would not hire that. Cause that's just very unprofessional and very dirty. That's very ill. That's ugly. Like, I don't want that attitude on my sets. Mm -hmm. And I told him and he's like, well, Oh, he says something. Well, uh, let me go check to see if I'm abusive. I'm like, you probably are. Don't 
talk smack about other people where when you don't know what happened during that time you don't know what happened you don't know what's going on because people will twist words and people will lie and be selfish and greedy you don't say stuff like that because you don't know you weren't there you know and I'm a, I'm a type of person which happened to be the fact that my family member had to do me dirty with my ex fiance. I caught them. Yeah. So that was a horrible, horrible, horrible night. Almost went to jail for something mm -hmm. that I could, you know, go to jail for life for. Um, but I, I got over it. I, I, forgived in my own way she's not you know going to be that same sister that she was before she's just there you know she's just there but it's like you got to forgive especially if it's like so horrible like so negative you just you can't let it build up inside of you and be negative all the time you you, you have to let things go you you have to move on and be positive and you have to let things go and then I agree with that, but I feel like you could forgive somebody, but you don't have to necessarily mess with them anymore. You could just like let go of that negative energy. But I, I don't talk. I yeah. don't talk to her. She's she's not the sister like she was before. And she has my nephew, so of course I want to see my nephew, my nephew. But I have my brother talk to her because I don't. Yeah. I care and love, but it's not the same. Yeah. Um. But if somebody's trying to change their ways, back off, you know? Don't treat them so bad. Because you, you don't know what happened to them. You're not in their shoes. You don't know. You don't know if somebody else starts something, you know? And, it, and it's always like these lies. And I'm like, whatever, dude. And I'm like, I told that guy to delete that post because I don't want nothing to do with that guy that was saying stuff. I'm like, no. And he was dumb to do that because I'm like, that makes you look like an idiot and I'm an unprofessional person who I don't want you working for me. I don't want to work with him. I don't want to hire him for anything. And I'm like, you need to be careful what you say because other directors will see that. Other people, casting directors, and they're like, oh, this guy is just saying negative stuff that he shouldn't be saying. Like, don't worry. Don't, it's none of your business. Mm -hmm. Don't be saying stuff. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, too. Like, for me, people that I have issues with, it's not out in the public to where I'm posting about it. Like it's yeah. handful of people know about it just cause I'm telling people like, you know, watch out for these type of people. But yeah, I do that too. Again, I will never besides Nicholas Cage, fuck Nicholas Cage. Cause I don't like his acting, but that's different. <laughs> you didn't like him on, on Mindy. Was it Mindy? Mindy? I, I didn't. I liked his shirt and I liked the weapon he had. And I think that was, no, that, was that was sweet. <laughs> the tiger shirt. I really that, that that's like my favorite movie. I watch it pretty much as much as I can. I just love the storyline. I love the the way he does act on that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's you know everyone has their own opinions. Yeah, but no, just, like that, I really don't like him as an actor. But that's just a joke when I bring him up. But like as far mm -hmm. as people up that I've worked with personally or whatever, or just mm -hmm. in general, I won't bash them again on the air. I won't bash. Them. I don't even bash them off the air. It's just like I said, I'll tell certain people like, hey, listen watch out for this person don't yeah. i don't work with them here's why mm. i'm not saying you shouldn't if you do work with them i'll still be cool with you that's fine like i'm an adult but yeah, yeah I, we're all adult, adults adults here's why and then when people are like oh wow thank you for telling me this mm -hmm. they'll kind of see how that person acts or those people act and they'll, they'll kind of like, you know what i should i probably shouldn't mess with these people because you're right about the way they yeah. act yeah and that's the only thing like I, again i just I don't have time to be making a post about somebody like don't work with I'll use you as an example. Don't you don't work with destiny because she's too cocky and this, that, and the third. Like, that's, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> You're grown. If you don't like yeah. them, whatever the case may be, just, you know, don't work with them again. If you want to look out for, per for me, I look out for other podcasters. So it's that I'm cool with them. Like, Hey, yeah, you don't want this person. You're not going to want to work with this person. You might not want to work with this person. Here's why, but I'm not going to sit here and say, don't worry. If you work with them, I'm not listening to your show anymore. Or I'm not Yeah. A lot of stupid stuff that no i don't do that i just like just you know i told them what happened on my set and just like just watch out if you're going to work with them just watch out yeah exactly. and i'm like that too and i do do blacklisting on my uh production company facebook because i don't take likely like 
you did wrong, I'm gonna let people know, but I'm gonna say it professionally. And I have a lawyer, so don't you can't even say, "Oh, I'm a victim." Oh, you're putting my name in the mud. I'm like, no, no, no. I didn't say anything bad. I just said you are saying stuff like professionally, like how a legal way of saying it. And I'm like, I didn't put you in the mud. I'm not saying nothing, but what the fact that y'all are what you're doing is wrong, and I'm gonna let people know. Well, that's so, yeah, yeah, that's different because you're looking out for people, so they don't yeah. get it over. It's not like yeah. a personal vendetta because you had a falling out. It's one thing if you have yeah. a falling out with somebody and you're bashing them on social media versus like a professional falling out to where they yeah. screwed you over financially or screwed your film yeah. over, and you're yeah. letting people know that that other directors know, but you're doing it in the right way. Like, look, yes, watch out for that's these what people. I did. <laughs> that's different. That's what I did, and then they'd still. <laughs> No wonder they. I'm like, oh my god, oh you, like stop, I, I stop acting like a victim. Like I'm not bashing you. I'm just telling people watch out for for these kind of people because they want to use you and freaking waste your time, your money, your energy, and they should pay me back for all that stuff I gave them. I shouldn't even give them the rest. Like, well, actually, no, I didn't give them for that because I fired him. Like, no. <laughs> but for the, for the fact for them to say all that, I'm like. Oh. <laughs> You are not reading it right. Mm -hmm. Go away. <laughs> so block, block, block. I'm like, no, just go away. <laughs> understandable. <laughs> understandable. Definitely understandable. <laughs> I'm like, okie dokie, dude. That's why you're fired. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> no, again, no. What you're doing, which right here, is that your face in the? Mm -hmm. That's creative. Mm -hmm. That's very creative. I uh, I wanted some pictures because I wanted I wanted somebody who who did an awesome like back in the day artwork of the posters. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking for that while I was taking pictures. Like the cabin is also a picture from the cabin we use from the short film, and then you know took a picture of me, and he just went from that and created this cool uh reindeer this like he did amazing i i knew i picked the right one because he came to me and i was looking for something like back in the day 80s to like the the 70s 60s kind of style posters mm -hmm. and because me and my mom loved like black and white movies like we we loved um abbott and costello we loved um uh, uh all those like you know all the black and white movies and that's how she got me into horror when I was a baby. When I was born, I'm like, we're going to watch Freddy Krueger, blah, blah, blah. Because Freddy Krueger came out in the 80s, right? Yeah. yeah. And I was born in 84. So once I popped out, she's like, just watch horror movies. <laughs> and he came He came to me, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, let's make a deal. So we made a deal. He made this, and it's phenomenal. We already had, like, a couple, uh, you know, film festivals official film selections and fi uh, finalist, uh, finalist for the poster and stuff. And now I'm just waiting to see if we uh, are going to the next level for shock fest. I was like, I was awesome. We were like the first people that were like, this the Sonia's Christmas slasher poster. I'm like, yes. So we're like in the competition. So that was like, that was sick. It was like, that was so exciting to oh, be cool. like in that moment when they said that. I was like, what? <laughs> so that was cool. And we got into the article. <laughs> Congratulations on that, by the way. That's amazing. Thank you. Thanks. Something you should definitely be proud of, and hopefully you that, win. Yeah, I, I, that would be awesome. But, yeah, I, I was like, I totally forgot who took the pictures. Oh, my <laughs> God. Who took the pictures? I'm sorry, whoever took the pictures of me. <laughs> I don't remember who it was. <laughs> I think it was the guy I blacklisted. <laughs> oh, well. But, yeah, that, that we took pictures, and he used it. So that's cool. I like it. Yeah, that's I like that. I was I was when I was putting making the thingy earlier. I'm just like, hang on a second, is that her face in the background? <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> looks really good. Cause we like I was gonna. So I have like two different like that. The Christmas slasher with the reindeer logo is also goes with the with um um the poster. So that's like a second kind of poster, but it's just for the shirts and like it's just the logo for like clothing and stuff. Yeah, he couldn't. They couldn't do the. They could, but it'll just look weird. So I was like, 
is there a way we can make something that kind of looks like the Rudolph on that poster? So he made that, and I was like, oh, I love it. <laughs> it looks good. It's simple. It's cool. It's creepy. I like it. <laughs> it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love them both. I was like, yay, guys, thanks. But yeah, I, I have a lot of support. I'm super happy. I'm happy I have a lot of support, a lot of love from people, and and I appreciate it all. I appreciate all of them for, for coming in and helping me out, you know, knowing that I'm a little bit different, and it is hard to try to focus and get things done. That's why I finally hired more people, you know, assistants, AD, you know, all of them to, to do what I can't do because it gets too overwhelming for me and it's just too much. So this time around, it's going to be perfect. Everything's going great. And I'm super stoked to, to film with everybody next year. It's going to be awesome. I know I get a little bit bossy with them, but I, I, I need to know. I have to make sure that everybody's on board and they're doing what they have to do before the holidays. Cause you know, at least I give you guys, Hey, you got holidays coming up guys. You have, you got your vacation, your vacation, go and do all what you got to do, but make sure you finish my stuff first before you go. <laughs> Cause we're going to start shooting, you know, right after that. And me, I don't, I don't celebrate the holidays. I just like, like around November, December, I'm heading to Minnesota to, to film like the beginning of the, the film. I'm like, I'm going to go because they have more Christmas lights and they're more Christmasly and Duluth area is a Christmas city. So I'm like, I got to go guys and do this. I got to do some scenes in the beginning <laughs> while you guys have fun. Well, I'll have fun, but you know, yeah. but I want to, I want to get some scenes in the beginning of the scenes. Cause there's a lot of Christmas festivals and stuff at the, in the, in the movie at the beginning. So I'm like, I got to go up there. <laughs> I do some filming this year, so yeah. So I, 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 there's no there's no thing called vacation for me. I, I just go and keep working. Hopefully, I will go on my vacation next year. I was supposed to go to Ireland uh, this October, but COVID nineteen. I'm like, yeah. I'm not gonna have time to do all that. We got to stay for the fourteen days in an apartment, and then they then I can go to the the location. I'm like. Man, that's like my whole vacation right there. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, we'll just push it for next October. Thanks, guys. That I mean, they were nice enough, the, the uh, island. I Ireland, they were nice. So I was like, all right, well, I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> and it was a good deal because the place is a castle you could stay in. Mm -hmm. And I was staying there for 14 days, and it was uh, $1,000. That's not bad. Yeah, and food included breakfast. So I was like, dude, that's that's good deal. That was a good deal. So I got to get all that done pretty soon. So if it does go up, I hope not, but I want to do it before it goes up. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> as you, Again, as you should be though. And again, I, I can't wait to see this movie back here behind me. This post. Yeah. <laughs> just cause I love horror and I love horror one. And then I love indie horror just cause it's somebody's baby. It's somebody's creation. That is just a fan. It's someone that's a fan of the genre. That's like, yes. I want to get people together. I want to make my. I want to make a movie. I have these ideas. I want to put it on paper and then put it on Do film. It. And boom, there it is. There it goes. And I love watching. And I'm just like, this yeah. is cool. It's even, another cool thing is, which it's not required, people, but I do love it here and there where people are just like, I want you to watch my movie. Don't spoil it. You know, don't share it. But here's yeah. a screener. I'm just like, holy shit, this is awesome. I'm just a podcaster. Yeah. Yeah, then I want to I want to do that with you guys too. Like I I I don't I don't want to show it to yeah. everybody because I want to get that maybe awesome deal that it'll go somewhere. But I I do want people to like review it and you know say what they have to say, but not tell too much about it too. Yeah. So that'll I, be cool. I've gotten that a couple times where they'll send me the movie and they'll say, "Look, with you and then your co-host, cool, share it with them. Discuss the movie as much as you can without giving out too many details." Like yeah. Yep. Spoiling it too much, but just kind of give you guys thoughts on it from yeah. what you can. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then later on, we can go back and give it the real review where we break it down. Yeah. All that fun stuff once it's out to the public. Yeah. It's just, it's just cool to get that extra. Just to get that, like, just yeah. get that. I'm like, this is this this is what the, awesome. this is what the famous people feel like when they get to go to those premieres and sit. There yes. <laughs> This is like I I don't like when people try to make it like oh it's a Hollywood I'm like no no I'm not going for Hollywood it's just not Hollywood I don't I'm sorry I mean I love that area but I'm not into that Hollywood kind of feel this is like an indie film 
this is where you know where it's more passionate it's more like I don't care about the damn money I care about making something that's really unique and different and 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 showing people like look in my mind and look what I can do with my mind <laughs> when yeah. I have so much going on and this disability look what I can do you know I want to be proud of myself and show the world that you putting me down, it's not going to help. It's not going to stop me from doing what I love to do. And I'm going to show you what I'm making. I'm going to show you what I can do. And it's like super cool. And and, and, I, and I love it. And I, I love the in, indie community because it's like you make anything you want. You don't, No one cares as long as it's like <laughs> funny, good, or amazing, you know? It, that's what I love. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. I love the indie community. Again, um, an amazing, fun, very fun community from the actors, actresses, directors, producers to the YouTubers, the podcasters, like all across the board with the horror indie stuff. Yep. Most, for the most part, you have, because everywhere you're going to have your assholes, but for the most part, everybody's really cool. Everybody really likes to help each other out and help each other grow. Yep. And that's just the way it should be. And that's what I try to do with my, my platform. And I, I love connecting people, too. Like Yes. And that was really cool when I went live with her. Holy fuck, it's everybody came in. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, really? You guys want to, like, speak to me? That was, I, was, I was really honored that all of you, like, came to me and wanted to speak to me. And I was like, oh, I was crying. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I was, like, really stoked about it. So and thank you so much for coming to me. Oh, that was of awesome of you. Of course. And then on, on my end, I feel the same way when someone just, like, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to come on your show that's that sounds cool yeah like it, it's it's cool because again this is just something i started as a hobby which is still mm -hmm. still a hobby but i do take it serious even though i'm silly yeah, yeah. it was started out as a hobby with just me friends and some family members just coming on here literally re talking horror movies reviewing horror movies and i went from that to <laughs> interviewing and in, not even interviewing first i went from that to reviewing with people that i met through horror groups on facebook and then interviewing mm -hmm. people and then to kind of what it is to where now it's people reach out to me like, hey, I would love I have a horror movie coming out. I would love to come on your show to to, to discuss it. Yeah. Like, Holy shit! Like really? <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did you find out about me? It's like, oh, I heard from so and so, or I seen it in a group. Like I seen your email in a group, or I heard it from somebody. I heard about your show from someone else, or I'm a fan of your show. I listen to your show. And I'm just like, wow. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just it's just like that passion and mm -hmm. the COVID thing made it mean even more so to me because I've had people reaching out that either they've been on the show like mm -hmm. after the episode, thank you so much for doing this, thank you so much for recording because you're getting people that get away through this whole crazy pandemic that's going on, especially when yes. especially like the beginning of it when people are just yeah. stuck in the house. It's like you're giving people that get away for a couple hours to just sit and either if you're on your show talking about horror and stuff or to just listen to it. And so I'm not like, okay, yeah. now I take that to heart too. And I record, yeah. I don't change anything with my style. Cause I just do it the way I do it. That's natural to me, but mm -hmm. I still take it to heart. Like that's really cool that people come on here. They express themselves and they talk about horror and have a good time and for kind of forget about all the bullshit that's going on. Yeah. More than personal or just in the world. And, you know, just kind of relax and same thing for the listeners and viewers and all that other stuff. So I want to keep doing it from, here till I don't do it anymore, which I don't. Tell you the truth, it's it's a it's a therapy. Horror is a therapy, a really good therapy. Agreed. It is. It is. It's it's like you're like seeing all this crazy crap and and talking about all this. It it actually helps out with somebody. And I'm like, yeah, it is a therapy. It's kind of weird, but it is. <laughs> it, it does make sense because some people are like, how do you watch all this crazy violent stuff? This that the third, but you don't act like that. It's like, well, for one, I'm not that. I'm not a crazy violent person, and two, I yeah. see it in a movie, so I get my, <laughs> I get my fix, so to speak. Like, yeah. I, I cool it's just fix. like playing video games. Exactly. <laughs> it's just a fix. It just helps you out. I look, at, <laughs> I look at horror more and more, especially being able to interview people like yourself. Mm -hmm. Getting the privilege of interviewing people like yourself, as I, I look at horror more and more as an art form, as another form of art. Movies in general, but I'm just saying horror again because that's like the main thing. And it's just another form of art. It's like music. It's like anything else. You do it. You put your feelings into it. You put your passion into it. And it mm -hmm. goes up there. And we get it the movies. Everything. Movies, podcasts, music, all that stuff. It's a form of art. It's a form of communicating with people. You're doing it through your movies. I'm doing it through mm -hmm. my podcast. Yep. Music, their poetry, their books. Yep. This is my art. This is my therapy. It's making my movies and doing, doing a whole bunch of stuff that, that helps it me out a lot. 
to get through with things. It's just this, filming wise and acting, writing, directing, and editing. Yeah, it's all art to me, and it makes me happy. It makes me feel better, and it's therapy for me. <laughs> and this, the thing is, is, there's a lot of fans out there, horror fans, that feel the same exact way. For them, it's mm -hmm. popping in that movie, or again, listening to that interview, listening to that podcast. Whatever it is, watching that YouTube movie, watching that YouTube channel, watching that short film, anything yeah. more, people are just like, yeah, this is my, this is my getaway. Like, yeah, and, and then also what's cool is like we have these crowdfunding that to give those people a chance to actually be on the set mm -hmm. of a horror film and get to, you know, get that experience and, and get that therapy on the set too. So that's, that's pretty cool that we have that. And I was like, oh, I want to do this. I want to try to get, you know, much people... And they're so like really interested in this to get them on board and have fun. Like even the one, uh, there was one who who picked one of the perks, the higher perks, um, but not to be on set. But he's like, you know, I'm close by. Can I can I come and help you guys? I want to fulfill your dream and be on it and just help with crew stuff. I'm like, heck yeah, come on! If you're close by, come on. Get, we we need all the help we can. You can hang out with us and help us when. Whatever. Thank you for buying the one that you don't need to be on set, but you, you're close by. Come on board. Let's do this. I need the more people, you know, that are passionate about horror stuff. You come on. You come on set. <laughs> so yeah. I was like really stoked. He's like, can I, can I, I'm in Austin. Can I come on set? I'm like, hell yeah, come on set. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Y'all come fly, Come on. I need all the help I, I need and, and it'll be fun. Just to chill at the cabin side and just make a horror film. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah, come on in. And that's another thing I love about the indie scene is so many people can be involved in so many different ways to where, oh, I mean, yeah. even if it's as simple as getting your name in the credits, that's mm -hmm. all. If, yeah. You know, getting your name in the credits for funding, you know, help fund this film, yeah. Just helping, the fi helping fund the film. Cause it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I'll be part of this film in a way. Mm -hmm. I $5, my $10, my $50, whatever, whatever people can afford. Yeah. went to this film, went to the budget of this film to help this yeah. film come out versus me going to buy a, a horror movie from Walmart or Amazon. It's like, I just went and picked this movie up. I didn't have anything to do with this film. Yes, I enjoy the movie. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm not shitting on that, but I'm just saying like, it feels mm -hmm. cool because you're involved. You're more involved. Yeah. Which makes yeah. me feel good about it. And that's, that's cool that they, that they have these, uh, these crowdfunding because I never like got like, like I didn't get that, get it when it first came out and stuff but since i did this and i'm like looking at everybody else's horror film you know they're getting so much cool perks and i do pitch in also like i'm starting to stay well i do it all the time but i started to stay in like on sundays a sunday every month i'll post like hey if you have an indie film that needs to be funded or anything please put it on here underneath my co comment and i'll i'll put, put some money into it so that's what i've been doing too that's really fun. Oh my god, I like the perk stuff. <laughs> and it, and it's yeah, it's really fun that that P P fans can uh, help by being in it or helping donate. You know, so I was like, that's awesome. And I and I, I appreciate them all because we're doing pretty good. Like like I said, we have forty five days, and I just had I just got another backer already donated something <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> While we're talking, he's like, I got you. Like, oh okay, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna add some more stuff, so that's it's fun. I love it. That's the, awesome. the first the first time I did it, it was like crap. It was like shit. It was like oh, what the hell? But now I'm like, all right, let's make this better. Let's do this better. So I did all that cool, nice stuff, and I like I did all the editing. You know, I did all the pictures, Photoshop, and all that stuff. So I was like, yay! <laughs> and I did my own teaser. Took me a day. Everyone else took forever, and I'm like, I'm just gonna do all my own stuff. <laughs> I'd rather just do it all on my own. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Yeah, with that. it was fun. Nothing wrong with that. No, and I told him like, guys, I just did it myself. Thank you for trying. You know, thank you for trying to help, but it, it, it was going to. It was. It was not going anywhere. So I, I, I just did it myself. <laughs> I know what I want. <laughs> like I'm not trying to be bossy, but you know, we're kind of on a time punch here. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I get it. I understand it. Yeah. But um, I guess we can wrap this up. All right. If there's anything you want to plug, any links, feel free to plug them. And then just when you get a chance, send them to me again in another email. And when this episode comes out and the previous episode comes out, because I'm going to send them, <laughs> I'll put them out back to back. Okay. I'll have all the, you know, all the links in both thingies for the description. Okay, cool. 
yeah um i'll just send you all the links to everywhere to everywhere to to christmas slasher but yeah um christmas slasher is not on twitter but it's on instagram christmas slasher movie the movie i don't know my own instagram i'm sad <laughs> oh we're on we're <laughs> It'll be in the links, people. Don't. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And we're on Facebook, Christmas last year. And we also have a website now. Uh, the merch site is not up yet until October, but it'll it'll be there. And yeah, and we're on IMBD and Indiegogo. <laughs> or Oct- is it gonna be like October first, or you don't know yet? Uh, it's gonna it's it might go live like the week of Halloween because there I'm trying I have a uh, skateboard decks. Mm-hmm. that uh have the christmas last year poster of me which is awesome so we'll be uh selling those on the merch but i need i don't like those mock-up pictures because it doesn't do it justice mm-hmm. when you see them i'm like what's this so i'm waiting for them to grab it take pictures send it to me so i can work on the merch so i'm hoping before the before that week of halloween we'll be live on the merch site keep me posted on that because maybe what i'll do is actually you know what we'll wrap this episode up then i'll tell you <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Tell me, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you again for coming on. I greatly appreciate it. I had a great time again as well. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun. You're such, just such, such, such a good energy. I love it. And, and thank you. It's like an honor for for me, for you and me being on this podcast. I agree. <laughs> I cannot speak. I get too excited. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I agree. But yeah, again, thank you for coming on. I had another, I, again, like I said, I had a great time with you. I know we'll be doing this again. Oh, for sure. For all the listeners and viewers out there, be sure to go check her out on all the links below. And for the ones that want to check my stuff out, I have a Horror Research 30 Facebook group. Mm-hmm. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own projects. As long as it's horror related, it's cool. That goes for you too, Destiny. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and plug it right in there. I have a Horror Research 30 Facebook page that's strictly for the podcast and all that stuff. Just to keep you updated on what I'm doing, all my episodes, audio and video will be dropping on there. All my videos will be on, all my random videos will be on both the podcast page and the group, but my podcast videos will be strictly on the podcast page. What else do I have? I have a Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy, which I will be gaming there more very soon. By the time this video comes out, I should already be gaming on there a lot and having the camera and everything all set up. Cool. Uh, I want to do the same thing. It's fun. I need I need my big TV and I'm gonna get my PS4 and all that good stuff. I'm like I'm gonna be doing that too. And it's a good way to interact with fans and interact with mm-hmm. those that are into horror just by going on there. Have, like I go on there with my brother and some friends or my brothers and cousins and all that and just have fun talking randomness, horror, whatever. You can do games on there too, right? Yeah, that's what we do. We stream oh, games. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> I love games. Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. My YouTube channel, horror with sir sturdy. If you ever want to be a guest on here, shoot me an email, horror with sir dot sturdy. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. You don't have to be in movies or directing and all that. If, you want, if you're just a fan like myself and you want to review a movie, shoot me an email. I think that's everything. Oh, and anywhere you listen to the podcast audio, you can hear me iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Podbean, and anything else that's sprinkled in between. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you in your nightmares. <laughs> well, uh, uh, uh.